Hi, so I'm just going to show you how I got the Cisco IP phone 7912 working on 3CX. Now obviously this isn't supported by 3CX and by default these phones don't come with SIP firmware. In this video I'm not going to be explaining how to set up the SIP firmware, I'm just going to be explaining how I got um, the calls to work on it because when I first got it set up I could call out and I could hear the other person on the other end but they couldn't hear me so I'm just going to go through that. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is press the settings button on the actual phone itself and um, then click the number 2 which this is after you've got the SIP firmware so just click on select for that then what you want to do is you want to go down to network configuration press select on that and then you want to scroll down until you get to IP address so I'm going to put that IP address in now There we go. I don't know why I did that. So, as you can see, this is the actual phone's web interface. You're going to need the password to change these settings, uh, and that password is set using the TFTP server. And what you need to do is obviously your network parameters would already be configured. Uh, what you need to do is go to SIP parameters and then enter the password. Let's see if I can remember this. Yes, I can. Uh, once you've done that, what you need to do is enter the details as following. So UID obviously is your extension. And then you put your password here. The proxy is the 3CX server. You don't have to worry about these and you can leave that as 3600 um, if it's already set like that. Uh, if it isn't then you just put 3600 in there. SIP reg needs to be at 1. Then this is where I got stumped. NAT IP needs to be the same IP as the phone. Um, that's the phone's IP. So I recommend setting a static reservation for the phone within DHCP, um, just so no other no other device can get that uh, and cause issues. Uh, obviously, the SIP port is whatever it is in your 3CX. So by default, 5060. Um, the media port can be any of the 3CX media ports uh, or RTP ports. Outbound proxy is again the PBX, the 3CX server. The NAT server is then your router. Now this isn't your DHCP server, so if your DHCP is on a, um, a Windows domain controller for example, then that, that isn't the IP of the domain controller, this is the IP of the router. Then all you need to do is click apply, and then the phone will reboot itself. And then what you'll be able to do is use the phone, um, they'll be able to hear you and you'll be able to hear them. Thanks for watching.